Hello again and welcome to another edition of Shed Talk and this first video in August. Um, I hope you enjoyed all the sunny weather, certainly over in the UK. It's been absolutely gorgeous for most of July, although right at the very end we did have a, a little bit of a, a change in the temperature and, a, and some well needed rain. Uh, so, at the end of the last video I asked which other two genes Oh, sorry, whichever two mutations shared the same gene as the dilute, and of course, those are the uh, grey wing and the clear wing. Uh, for a little added bonus, um, which of the three mutations are needed to make up the full body colour grey wing? So, either the dilute, grey wing, or the clear wing. So, whichever, which mutations, which of those two mutations? Uh, do we need to have to make up the full body colour um, grey wing? Well, in this video, we're going to have a very, I've just literally got a couple of birds out to the young birds that are going to be moved to the um, nappy flight. We're going to have a quick look at those first, and then we'll see how the rest of the shed is doing. As always, if you enjoy the videos, don't forget to um, like, and you can always subscribe and hit the bell if you want early notifications. Thanks to all those people who have subscribed. Um, it is, I just, I am amazed at the number of people who subscribe to the channel now. So thanks again for that. So let's have a quick look at the uh, two young birds we're about to move. So we're going to be looking at a few of the young birds that we're just moving from the nappy flight into um, their relevant flights, relevant main flights. First ones we're looking at are three hens. All of the birds are six months old, and as you can probably tell, all of the birds um, were part of a nest that was feather plucked. Uh, in terms of these, uh, the sky blue cinnamon, um, who is the most agitated by the looks of it, just dropped down. Um, so the sky blue cinnamon um, is uh, quite a narrow bird, um, although it has a reasonably um, deepish mask, not the greatest of masks, but reasonably deepish. Um, being a hen, um, I'm going to keep her anyway, because um, uh, you can, um, I don't keep very many and I'm a little bit short of hens at the moment. So we'll talk briefly about the uh, cinnamon light green sat behind the sky blue. Um, if I can get a still of it, I'll put it up now. Quite a biggish bird um, for its age, and is reasonably um, wide, so quite a reasonable size bird for its age. Again, a little bit narrow across the top of the head. Moving on to the uh, cinnamon uh, dark green. Um, it's probably the better of best hen out of the three of them. Um, once again, quite a reasonably sized bird for her age. Um, reasonable width uh, uh, and quite a reason across the shoulder and a reasonable width um, across the face. Um, in breeding condition already by the looks of it. She's been in breeding condition, I think, since she was about three months old. So um, I'll get her in the cage quite into the breeding cage quite early once I begin to pair up. So moving on to the cockbird. So there is only one cockbird that's due to go um, into the main flight. He suddenly become a little bit stressed. Actually earlier he was looking uh, reasonably relaxed in the showcase. I don't know whether he can hear the hens next door and he's calling to some of the other birds in the um, young bird flight. This bird, for a cock bird, is, is a bit narrow, um, and both in terms of the body, so across the shoulders, very narrow across the shoulders, um, and very narrow across the head. But he is a really long bird, and he's not a long flight, he's just a long bird. Um, so I need to think about what I'm going to put him to. I, here's a keeper, from my point of view, lovely long mask on him. Um, so from my point of view, he will be a keeper. But he definitely needs a hen that has got some real width about it. If I can get some width um, into this bird's length and produce an overall long and big bird, um, it will be a start. So that's what I would aim 
for this cockpit. It's a nice wide um, hand with a big wide head and big wide shoulders. And I've got a few um, in the hen flight. But I like that. Um, and hopefully we can produce some reasonable sized birds. And then we can start thinking about, I can get some big, big birds with length and width. Start thinking about putting a few of the other features on them as well. So um, it does blow reasonably well. Isn't doing it at the moment in the showcase. Um, but it does blow reasonably well, has been blowing reasonably well in the flight. So pop these into the um, main flight scene, cock and hen flight. So as well as moving those young birds into the uh, main flight, um, as I'm shutting down the breeding cages, I'm also moving the final few hens. Uh, the hen here, this uh, light green cinnamon opaline, uh, is for what is the hen that was in cage one. Had a spot on treatment. Uh, time to go into the hen flight for a rest. We'll just take a look at the other two uh, hens that I'm also moving as well uh, before I put this one in. There is another two hens that we're just moving out of the breeding cages. This uh, cinnamon grey. Uh, we didn't get anything off this hen unfortunately. She was very put in very late, only had one round. Um, and we didn't get anything off her. So uh, we'll give her another try in the autumn. So that's the cinnamon grey. And then finally, I just move across we have a uh, grey green cinnamon hen uh, this was one of those hens that I tried very early on didn't get anything and then tried her again and we managed to get one off of her a nice um, yellow face grey in fact I think it is so at least we got something off of her really wide on the shoulders this one so it might well be that when I think about the um, the green that we saw earlier young green that we saw earlier that was a bit what is nice and long but a bit lacking on the shoulder this might be a, a suitable hen for him but we'll have to wait and see when we um, do our assessment and pairing up in September time. Anyway, so that's two more hens out of the breeding cages. All we've got to, uh, all we've got left in the breeding cages now is the um, hen from pair three, which is currently um, feeding chicks. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at that nest box and a quick and a discussion around what my plans were for this hen and um, why it didn't quite turn out the way I intended. Well, I've removed all those young birds and the um, hens out of the various breeding cages. I'm left with just one cage, the one behind me. So, cage three. Um, the cockbird has been moved out. Uh, I was hoping, like the others, that I could bring this one to an end. Uh, fortunately, or fortunately, whichever you might um, consider, she started to lay and the eggs were full. So I've left her to bring these up. I was hoping actually to move the eggs to um, a friend of mine who has just started breeding. Um, but that didn't happen for a number of reasons. So I'm leaving this hen to bring them up. She laid a total of nine eggs, of which the uh, first six, I believe, were full. Uh, one didn't hatch. Uh, four have hatched, and I'm waiting on to see whether the sixth one is going to hatch or not. Um, it's a bit late, so I, I suspect it might not be hatching. The four that have hatched, hen's bringing them up perfectly fine. Uh, I just problem we have with this cage as we as you will remember from previous videos is that the hen does feather pluck and i've got nowhere to put them now i've broken up all the other cages so i'll just have to try i might try the um putting some pseudocreme or 
on on them just to see whether that uh, will deter her from plucking them but we'll wait and see how we get on so we'll have a quick look at the four anyway before we move uh, before we move on just so you can see the four um, youngsters that are in this cage so here are these four youngsters then um, oldest one is around about eight days old so um, a couple of days and I will be really next. As you can see, all being fed reasonably well by the um, by mum. So we'll wait and see how these get on. So yeah, four more youngsters to to room, which is always a good a good thing, isn't it? I will need to um, give this next box next box a good clean out uh, as soon as well probably once I've um, started room. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Shed Talks and that short whip round looking at a few of the um, young birds and the hens we've been splitting. As always, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Please do comment and don't forget to subscribe. But until the next video, do stay safe and enjoy your birds.